man, that last video did really, really well. I don't know if I can do any better than that. I don't, I just, I, I don't know if I got it in me. I really don't. Yeah, man, you really suck. I don't think you should put out any more videos. You should just quit right now. I don't know why you're doing this kind of stuff. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You're doing really good. You're getting a lot of words of encouragement from your audience. Just keep it up. Yeah, but I just don't know if I can top it. I really don't. I don't know. Well, I guess I want to listen to you. Now, how am I going to do this? Welcome to Pool Addiction, where I like to do pool and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pool and billiards related for that matter. Now I know the beginning of this video is pretty cheesy, but if you can't make fun of yourself, then who can you make fun of? Am I right? Besides it does show the nerves I have with how well the last video did, I have a lot of anxiety on trying to continue that trend, and hopefully I can. But before we start, I'd like to give a special shout out to the subscribers to the channel. We're finally over a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate it. And as a special thank you, I'll be doing a giveaway with this video, so stay tuned to the end of the video for the details. I'm also putting timestamps in the, in the description below, so for those of you that don't want to watch the video and see all the entertaining stuff I do, you can click on those timestamps and jump straight to the information you're looking for. Now this video is going to be a little bit different than the other videos I've done in that I'm going to be doing several different pool glove reviews at the same time. Now some of you may be looking for a pool glove to try for, for the first time, or you have an old nasty one and you want to replace it, or you're just looking for a different brand to try. Whatever the case may be, hopefully you find this information useful. And without any further ado, let's get into this. Today, I'm reviewing several of the popular pool gloves out on the market today. The Predator Second Skin, the Molinari, the Poison, and the glove I've been using for a while, the Longoni Blackfire. The price range of these gloves range anywhere from the high end of $30 to $38 all the way down to $17. Some of the things I'll be covering with these gloves are the material, construction, fit, feel, and as well as what it's like to play with them. I've decided to do a 1 to 5 point scoring system with each of these categories as well as the price. We will total each of these categories up in the end to see which one comes out on top. Now for the record, I am not a big fan of pool gloves. I have used them off and on throughout the years and I still will use one when there's some type of friction between my bridge hand and the shaft. I found typically dirty shafts and humidity are the main reasons I will go to wearing my glove when I play. I could use talc, but talc is just dirty and messy and I just don't want to deal with it. Don't get me wrong though, gloves make a big difference with your stroke. I just don't like the feel of a glove on my hand when I play. It's probably subliminal, but I, I feel like it's distracting when I wear a glove. I like to feel comfortable when I shoot and I'm very picky about it. Heck, I'm even picky with the type of t-shirt I wear when I'm, when I'm shooting. It has to be comfortable and not distracting for me. When I use a glove, I like a snug fit, not too tight, cut out fingers for my index, middle, and thumb, as well as an extra piece of material in the bottom part of the palm. You ask why the extra material? Well, I found that that extra material gives you a little bit extra uh, contact uh, cushioning as well as it keeps the glove from wearing out too fast in that area since that's where the contact of the glove is with the table. Now, all these gloves do have some form of uh, heel pad material and you'll see that when we get up close with them. Okay, first things first before we get started. In order to give you a good idea of how these gloves fit based off their sizes, we need to measure my hand first so you can see the relationship of my hand to maybe your hand as well as to the glove sizes that I have here. Now, first thing you're gonna do is measure the width of your palm and mine is about eight inches. And then you also want to measure the base of your wrist up to your middle finger. And if I were to measure that, it looks like I come in at about between a seven and a quarter, maybe seven and a half. So I will also put the centimeter metric conversion up on the screen. So for those of you that use the metric system, you have a good idea of 
what sizing uh, I am dealing with in this review. Now first up is the glove I've been using for several years now. It's the Lagoni Blackfire glove. Now they don't make the first version which this one is uh, any longer. They have a 2.0 version but I'm going to go over the 2.0 versions information and uh, kind of use this 1.0 version uh, to show you some of the features because it really isn't that much different. The pricing on it, MSRP is $38, but I've seen it go as low as $30, and I believe Ozone Billiards have it for that price at this moment. Now, the construction of this is a techno fiber is what they call it, and it supposedly allows you, your hand to sweat less when you're wearing it. The stitching is very great. I've never had it ever come apart on me, and I've owned this thing for probably about three or four years now. The pad for the heel, uh, for the palm, is a micro suede type of material and they also do double stitching on that as well and you see I have a lot of wear and tear on it but it has not fallen apart on me the sizing in these come in a small medium large and extra large this is, happens to be a large now the feel of this is really nice materials nice and smooth um, it, it, and I'm sure the new glove is even better than this uh, the large fits well it's slightly loose but still snug, which is the way I prefer it. The material here, because it's so old, it, it is a little looser than what it was when I first started out, but this is how I like my gloves. I don't like them too tight. And as you can see, the fingers, uh, they've, they've held up pretty well uh, over the years as well. Uh, the, uh, the Lagoni uh, website says they are machine washable, washable so you can do that. Um, however, I'll be honest with you, I've never really done that with this glove. Probably should have, but um, in the end, it's, it's still a great glove. The next glove we're reviewing is the Predator Second Skin. Now, I've had this one a bit longer than the other two gloves I'm going to be reviewing um, because this was supposed to uh, replace my Longoni glove, which was wearing out. The MSRP on this is $25.00. And the construction material on here is really, really nice. It has this ultra dry, breathable mesh, which is supposed to help with sweating when you're wearing the glove. And it does a pretty good job. The uh, heel pad here is a suede type of material. And everything is double stitched on here, which is really nice. However, if you can see, the heel pad is only single stitch. Not a huge deal, but, you know, it, it is what it is. It has this Velcro strap here for wrist adjustment, which is really nice. And the material that makes contact with the shaft when in your bridge hand is this black material. And it's what Predator calls their second skin low friction surface. And it is really, really smooth. It's nice. The sizes of this glove, it comes in extra, extra small, small slash medium, which is one size, a large slash extra large, which is also one size, and an extra, extra large. This one happens to be the large, extra large, and for my hand size, it fits really nice. It's a little tighter than my uh, Lungoni, but it's also a little newer than my Lungoni. The stitching that it is the only thing that's really kind of stunk about this so far is in a short period of time, I've had the stitching come apart here. Um, I could have had a defective glove. I've had friends that have had this glove for a long time and never had any issues, but this is my experience, and uh, the stitching is started to come apart after a short period. Um, the finger holes are really nice and snug and they, they conform to your fingers really nice which is really really good. The uh, heel pad here it's a little smaller than my Langoni. I wish it was a little bit bigger but it, it, it is what it is. Um, the one thing that I hate with gloves is having it too tight across the palm and this one's really nice it doesn't feel too tight across the palm. The play on this it plays really well you can tell the materials are really premium um, it's the stroke is really smooth with the with the uh, shaft going through your bridge hand and I actually would say it's smoother than my Langoni and yeah, it's really nice the uh, packaging that the second skin comes in it comes in a packaging like this it's just like a packaging envelope with the glove nothing special uh, but uh, it, it is it is a really really nice glove the third glove we're reviewing today is the Molinari glove now this glove's been made famous by several pros on the tour who started wearing them, particularly Shane Van Boning. And I picked this one up because I knew I was doing this review and I wanted to see how it stacked up against the rest. The MSRP on this is $24 and the construction material of this, I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, there's not much material out there uh, ex explaining the construction of this glove. But they, on the site it does say it has enhanced stitching 
whatever enhanced stitching is. I'm guessing it's something to do with double stitching because if you look down the index finger, it has double stitching as well as around the wrist. So most of this is double stitch, so that's probably what they mean. The uh, palm area has this mesh material, which is very similar to the second skin, and also similar to the second skin is the surface material that makes contact to the shaft. It, it feels very premium and much like the second skin. The heel pad is where we get a lot different than the second skin though. This is a rubberized type of material instead of a suede type of material, and it's kind of fused or imprinted onto the fabric. And it, it seems really grippy. I think it'll be really nice. It also has a Velcro strap, just like the other two, for adjustment around your wrist. Now the sizes is where we start getting a little bit different from the other gloves. This thing only comes in really just uh, two sizes. It has a small and a regular. This one happens to be the regular, and um, the fit on it is kind of tight. I wish I wish they made a bigger sizes. You can kind of see how tight it is to get on there. And maybe that's meant so you don't feel it, but for me, when it's tight, you feel it more. Um, the uh, uh, material, you notice, uh, and I didn't explain this on the second skin, but it, it is split between the two here, which is, is uh, a little different. And it actually is kind of nice because it gives more freedom of the thumb so the material doesn't stretch out as much. Um, everything is really good. You can see the breathable material um, is really snug. You can see how snug it is on my hand. And um, the palm isn't too bad, uh, but it is definitely tighter. And you can see I kind of got to, I'm kind of holding my hand flat out and it's got a little bit of a trampoline effect here. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see that but you know it is what it is um, uh, there's a lot of people that I know has this glove and they really like it too uh, I will say this with play it it is really smooth um, I wouldn't say it's as smooth as the second skin but it is it is really really decent um, the tightness across the palm again is uh, one of my main uh, issues with this glove for my particular type of play oh and I almost forgot the packaging that this glove comes in is a little box like this. Now, I did say they come in small and regular. However, for some reason, mine says large. I don't know why, but um, it definitely is tight. Um, I would say regular is probably what it is. So that's the Molinari glove. Now, the last glove we have reviewed today is the Poison glove. And uh, this is a more budget-friendly glove. It comes in at about $17, and I wanted to add it to this review to show you a more budget-friendly glove and how it stacks up against the others. Now, the construction of this is definitely less quality than the other gloves. It has only single stitching versus the double stitching on all the others. And the material is this Lycra material, which is a little thicker feeling than the other. And it's uh, all the same material throughout the entire glove so you don't have that uh, dry mesh to help breathability uh, as well it also does not have the velcro strap for adjustability it just has this stretchy rubberized type of material and um, it's kind of like a wetsuit type of material and the heel pad it instead of a suede it has this rubberized type of material just like the molinari however this is not as uh, robust as the molinari and I can see this wearing out pretty fast uh, through the wear and tear of playing with it. And to talk about the sizes on this, it comes in two different sizes, and it's a small slash medium or a large slash extra large. This one happens to be the large extra large. And to show you how it fits on my hand, now mind you, all the other gloves are larges um, or as big as I could get. This being a large extra large, it is really baggy on my hand. Um, the finger holes are a little loose. The, the, it's just a lot of extra material. And you see my thumb barely even comes out of the cutout. Um, all in all, it's just not a very good fit. And again, with all the other gloves being large, extra large, as you would think this would be the right size. But maybe I have to go to the small, medium. Who knows? Um, the play with this, uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's definitely not on the level as those other gloves, though. Um, but if you're looking for a more budget-friendly type of glove, this, this isn't a bad glove other than the bagginess and the sizing problems. Now, this is the packaging it comes in. It's uh, nothing special. It has, again, small, medium, large, extra large, and that's really about it. 
Now, before I get away from these overhead, I wanted to show you something with a very basic Amazon bought cheap $5 glove and really notice don't, I, in my opinion, do not get these gloves. These gloves are really cheaply made. Um, they're very basic stitched. The finger holes aren't cut out. And the reason why I keep uh, hammering on the finger holes is I'll show you here. They're stitching right here in the fingers and that stitching is pushing up into your fingernails and everything and when you're playing it is can get kind of annoying and notice that this material here doesn't really droop down as much as the others and and again it, it's a comfort level thing um, these come in one size fit all though and they are really cheap but you get what you pay for now for those of you that like my b-roll here's a very frustrating b-roll practice session and if you don't like the B-roll, skip ahead to the final thoughts where I give the scores out. For those of you who watched the B-roll, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a really frustrating practice session for me, but that was the only day I was filming for the gloves, so I had to use what I had. Some of the things I didn't mention during the overhead with these gloves is the color selection. Two of these gloves come in a wide range of colors, and that is the Predator Second Skin as well as the Molinari. However, the Blackfire is only black, but they make a, what's called a Sultan, which is pretty much the same glove, and it's in a light blue. The Poison, though, only comes in black. Another interesting thing is Predator's involved in some shape or form with three of the four gloves on this review. They obviously make the second skin, they helped engineer the Molinari, and they own Poison. Now for the scores on these gloves. If you remember the categories we're going over, it's the construction material, fit and feel, the play, as well as the price to value. We're going to do a one to five point system scale on each of these categories and then total up each glove and see how they stack up against each other. 
First one up is the Lingoni Blackfire. In the construction material area, I've given it a five. It is built very well and they use premium materials. As far as the fit and feel goes, I've also given it a five. It's not too tight, not too loose, and it's very comfortable to wear. And as far as the play goes, it's the contact point between your bridge hand and the shaft is very smooth, low friction, and it's not distracting at all, and I've given it a five. Now this one gets a ding when it comes to the price to value. This one's the most expensive at $38 MSRP, and because of that, I've given it a three. That gives the total score of the Lingoni of eight, is 18. Next up is the Predator Second Skin. The construction material of the Predator Second Skin, I've given it a three, and primarily because of the stitching coming loose, because the materials are premium. I really like the, the palm mesh. It does allow for the breathing in, in your hand so you do sweat less, and that second skin is probably the best of the bunch. But I had, in the end of the day, I couldn't really justify giving it a, a much higher score than a three because of that stitching coming loose on me. The fit and feel, however, I, I did give it a five. It is very comfortable. It's, it's a little tighter than the uh, Lungoni, but it is still a very nice glove and very negligible in how tight it is. So I've given it a five. As far as the play goes, just like all these premium gloves, they're gonna play well. And this one's no slouch. It, I give it a five as well. It has that low friction between the bridge hand and the, and the shaft, and it's not distracting. As far as the price to value goes, it is a higher price for billiards gloves, but it is a premium billiards glove. It comes in right around of a, a $25 MSRP, so I've given it a price to value of a four. That gives the Predator Second Skin a total score of 17. The third glove is the Molinari, and in the Molinari's construction material, I've given it a five. It is a great glove. It's very, very similar to the Predator Second Skin. It has that uh, special mesh material that is breathable and does help with sweating. And that material for the contact point is very, very similar to the Second Skin. Now the heel pad is the main difference and it's got that rubberized heel pad and it's actually pretty nice and I enjoyed it. As far as the fit and feel goes, I did ding it a little bit. I gave it a four and that's primarily because it's pretty tight. It only comes in two sizes, the small and the regular. And with the regular one, I, it was pretty hard to get on and it was even harder to get off. So I've given it a four. As far as the play goes, I've given it a five. Just like all the other premium gloves on this list, it plays phenomenal, very low friction with the bridge, bridge hand and the shaft and it gets a five. As far as the price to value, this one comes in at $24, so a little less than the Predator Second Skin, and I've also given it a four, primarily because it does have a higher cost than the other billiards gloves out there on the market, but it is a premium glove. That gives the total score, the, the Molinari, of 18. Now the last glove on this list is the Poison Glove. This one's the more budget-friendly, and it shows. It, the construction material, I give it a three. And it, the reason why I've given it a three is it's put together well, but it's single stitching. It's, the material is a lycra material, so it's not as premium as the second skin or the Molinari. So it gets a three. It's average. The fit and feel, I gave it a three. And the reason why I give it a three is even though I'm, I'm typically a large hand in most billiards gloves, this one was really baggy on me, and maybe the small medium would actually work and I'd get a, get a better experience with it, but buying the large thinking I was a large, it came in really baggy and I give it a three. It, it, it just doesn't fit very well, and when you saw my thumb coming out that uh, finger hole, it barely even stuck out. As far as the play goes, I've also given it a three. It's okay. It's, not as, it's definitely not as good as the premium gloves, but it does do the job well and it's not that bad of a experience. As far as the price to value, I've given this one a five because it's a budget friendly. It comes in at $17 and you could probably find it a lot cheaper than that if you were to search around. So it's definitely a good price to value. So I've given it a five. That gives the Poison a total score of 14. So there you have it. The top score is a tie between the Molinari and the Lungoni Blackfire. Coming in, sec in third, is the Poison second skin, which is one point below them. And the following up the rear is the Poison at 14. Now I will say this, as far as the, the premium gloves go, they're all really great gloves. And you can see with the point system, it was pretty close. And if you, you wouldn't go wrong with choosing any one of those three. And if you're on a budget, the Poison, the poison one isn't that bad. As always, I place non-affiliated links in the description below of where you can buy these gloves. Now for the good part, the giveaway for my subscribers. I'll be giving away one of these gloves of your choice, brand new. All you need to do is be a subscriber. Make sure your profile is set to public so I can tell you're a subscriber. 
like the video, and comment below what type of glove you want, what brand, what size, what hand, what color. And once we hit 1,700 subscribers, I will do the drawing. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the material, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit that notification bell. And I'll see y'all in the next one. In that, I'm going to be doing a review of three different pool gloves at the same time. Four different pool gloves at the same time. Several pool gloves at the same time. Hopefully this information is useful to you. And uh, before we, wow, I can't believe I got that far and I screwed it up. Subscribers to this channel. It's meant, oh, man, I was doing well. I was doing well. Come on, Kev, stop thinking ahead. Stop, it's going in your head. Stop it. Video, so stay to the, to stay the little Stay tuned to the end of the video for the details. So, show my appreciation. I have a special, uh, God. Besides, it shows the kind of nervousness I have. Uh, welcome to Pull Addiction, where I like to do pull and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pull and billiards.